Hi, it's Terribly Awesome Productions here with um, another Lego mock, my own creation. This time, I've built a Lego Technic CVT transmission, constantly variable transmission. Uh, it's powered by a power functions motor, and it's got a um, transmission brake built in, and it actually slows it down quite a bit. Uh, I've got it geared super high. I don't have a laser tachometer, so I couldn't couldn't measure how fast it was going and uh, it runs off of a centrifugal clutch and if you don't know how centrifugal clutch works I will post a link in, dis in the description box on how a centrifugal clutch works and this one is built completely out of Lego parts there are no mega blocks no metal no super glue no nothing and it actually works pretty good when it wants to so, let me just fire it up, and I'll show you exactly how it works, and my battery box is being finicky, so we're here, folks. There. As you can see, it spins up pretty good, and that is going really fast. Now, this lever right here activates the transmission brake, and if I was to press that against there, that little truck hub, it would stop the engine. I will be posting another video up shortly after this one on how to build something like this, uh, because I think something like this would be very helpful for, like, a Lego pneumatic engine. Other, If I had Lego pneumatics, I would hook it up instead of a power functions motor to it, because I think that would be a better use for a centrifugal clutch. Um, but otherwise, uh, it works very simple. It's very simple. Uh, and everything is mechanical. There's no, like, linear actuators. There's no pneumatics. There's no, uh, there's no other electronics powering anything. It's just centrifugal clutch and mechanical brakes. Uh, the way the brakes work is... I don't know if you can see that, but there's a nub on the end of this axle, and there's a pin on this beam right here, and there's an elastic band wrapped around those two, so it gives a springiness. And then I've got one of these connectors with a rubber nub and just a half beam with Technic, hole, with, uh, Technic cross pin holes, axle holes in it for rigidity so that the... Uh, rubber nub doesn't like bend all the bits and stuff and like get chewed up too much um but i will be posting a video a link in the description on how a centrifugal clutch works so go and watch that after after i've done 